Next, I want to quickly end actually on this. This was a really interesting and I thought um, sobering and quite emotional interview with Shannon Abloh, Virgil Abloh's wife, somebody that not a lot of people actually have actually heard from. She, by all intents and purposes, kept herself behind the scenes. And for me, I, I always felt she was just the wife. I didn't think she was involved in fashion or the industry whatsoever, in what, any part whatsoever. But I guess she played a far more important role in his life and in his kind of career than it was led to believe. But she was happy to kind of play from behind the scenes. But obviously, since he's passed, she decided to kind of take um, control of his estate and sort of be the person maybe kind of knitting all that stuff together. So there's a sort of a cohesive message and um, it's kind of going out the right way blah 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 but i thought in general just hearing from her and hearing how she saw virgil especially as a husband as a partner um as a dad as a family man as a friend is really really cool to see in my opinion it's absolutely cool to see so this is courtesy of um new york times it says shana abla is ready to talk in her first interview virgil abla's widow steps out of the shadows and takes charge it says here in early november a few weeks before the anniversary of the death of her husband virgil abla founder of off-white men shana abla flew to chicago to new york to accept the award on his behalf the award had been bestowed by the cash fashion council's design of america during the gala evening and though mr abla had been nominated often during his lifetime and had always put on the tux and gone to the ceremony miss abla had not she had stayed at home with their two young children and, and dogs just as she had stayed in the background when her husband went to the met gala with kendall jenner or as or was a dj at coachella as public as mr abloh had been during around the world sending whatsapp messages to various artistic circles from around the globe miss abloh had been private she had never given an interview there are a few photographs of the couple together and when rihanna and asap rocky and lauren here and tyler crypto went to chicago for miss abloh's memorial service at the museum of contemporary art in december it was the first many had ever been in abloh's home you know what's funny when i was in the scene heavy I would used to make this joke how kind of vapid and empty scene relationships are because they're essentially what have you done for me lately and clout games right all the people that were kind of around me or in my orbit when I was around town doing parties and stuff and being a cool kid aren't here anymore because I'm not of that value to them I can't offer them bookings my parties and cool I don't have any parties so they, they stand next to me in the picture doesn't actually mean anything and I can't really offer them anything and suddenly the relationship kind of goes away and I was saying the real mark of a friendship especially if somebody that you're associated within a scene should be if they know your mom's name they don't need to know her surname or anything or any deals about her maybe met her in person but does your friend in a scene know your mom's name because surely if you're friends there has to come a point where you know you're talking about your parents or your family or something and they have to kind of know that sort of stuff and it's funny in this kind of period this kind of section of the article where it mentions that some of the the close people around virgil because clearly you had to be quite close to be able to go to that memorial service. Didn't actually know probably that Miss Ablo, what she actually looked like. And they had never been to his house ever before. Don't get me wrong. Maybe the house thing is a bit of a stretch because he clearly was never at home himself. He kind of prided himself on always kind of being everywhere at the same time. But I find that quite interesting. It continues. It was never a thing that we discussed as Miss Ablo as she was getting ready for the awards, referring to her decision to remain out of the spotlight. It was just the way of our relationship worked. She was camped out of the Mercer Hotel wearing faded boyfriend jeans and a t-shirt with a pair of both white and Jordan 4s that Mr. Ablo had dyed purple for her because purple is her favourite colour. We knew we wanted to build this close family and we needed someone to be the stable partner. I was happy to do that. I've always been somebody that's always kind of favoured these type of relationships. I feel like it's kind of cringe and a little bit lame to be the artist and also want to date or to have a family with another fellow artist. I feel like having a family or starting a family with somebody that is in a completely different sector or field than you is far more uh, of a stronger bond and would able, it's far better from character building and maybe even it's for compatibility sake than finding your exact equal or your exact twin i think that's a little bit of a um, idealistic almost naive way of looking at relationships i feel like sometimes opposites are better because they do attract and obviously i feel like they make for a far better foundation in my personal opinion especially when you're working at that type of level if you're both trying to make it and shannon abloh has her own fashion line and she's trying to build from the ground up and oh, you know virgil's got his stuff that he's doing he's trying to build from the ground up and god forbid one person isn't doing as well as the other person it's hard not to have you know ill will for the other person and have that kind of effective relationship and you know you're bringing all that drama back home 
Whereas if Virgil was able to be that guy that he was when he was around and Shanab was able to be the doting, loving, amazing mother at home, when you come home, you can essentially unplug and be Mr. Family Man and not have somebody indulge or, you know, um, fan your you know, industry delusions or conspiracy theories or gossip, whatever it may be, you can legitimately unplug and, I don't know, talk about the Kardashians or something. That's pretty cool to have, I think. And I think that is a far better and far healthier way to look at relationships than trying to find your exact equal. That's just my opinion anyway. Now, however, the spotlight was had found her after a year of standing by politely as pandas and boldface names expounded on Miss Abloh's life and work and what he would have wanted. Miss Abloh 41 decided it's time for her to define her husband's legacy herself. This is the interesting part for me. This is the really interesting part for me because i've seen this and i kind of vomit in my mouth because i feel like this is a really horrendous and ugly mirror to hold up at the industry and what it's actually about but also it could just be an anecdote and something to not really bother about too much but this section really kind of troubled me it belongs to me it belongs to his children shannon ablo said after his passing so many people came up to me and said virgil was my best friend his best friend in the fashion industry, his best friend in the music world. A lot of his collaborators or even people who maybe weren't that close to him feel, I can do this to help his legacy or I can do that to help his legacy. It's like this train that's going 500 miles per hour. And I just thought, I have to stay on this train because if I don't, I don't know where it's going to go. That's my place and my passion or in my position, sorry. <sighs> For me, that is disgusting because if we're led to believe what this article is saying is true a lot of Virgil Abloh's supposed best friends had never been to his house and some of these people probably had never met Shannon Abloh in person or had ever exchanged more than a couple of words to her or a couple of courtesy waves or nods they suddenly get to talk to her in a really distressing moment right her husband has just passed away to us he's this Goliath in fashion and in culture called Virgil Abloh but to her that's just her husband that's her partner, somebody that she, you know, had grown up with for a, a large part of her life and a raised a family with, and now he's suddenly gone, and you're having to deal with that in real time, and you've got people coming up to you, maybe at the memorial service, saying, I'm his best friend, and you have no idea who they are, and they're basically trying to position themselves in a place where they can stand next to you to maybe, I wouldn't say monetarily profit off it, I don't think these guys are that sick, but basically to get that rub, to get that shine, because that's what Virgil was basically famous for him and really good at. Despite his station in life, he didn't mind, like, you know, with me, you know, leaving a comment on a post or something, or double tapping a picture, or reading a DM, or sharing something in his stories that you did. Like he was really, really loose and free with sharing the clout. He didn't necessarily care. He'd follow anybody, right? You look at the many people. Look at there's no. I don't think you'd find another person of his level that follows the amount of people that he does on Instagram. Just a clear example of it. So I think these people were maybe trying to position themselves in a place where they could stand next to this Virgil Bablo securities and this kind of idea of kind of you know helping to foster and maintain and nurture and spotlight and highlight his great works and influence for decades and decades to come, so they could gain from it somehow that's how i look at it anyway and i feel like it's horrible it's horrible this woman's kind of in one of the toughest places possible trying to figure out how she's going to navigate through life was more than happy to play the second fiddle quote-unquote behind the scenes and let her superstar husband do his thing and live this amazing happy cheerful life raising these kids away from the spotlight cheers and then you're suddenly suddenly stepping into it clearly you're not comfortable with it because if you were you would have come in front of the camera before and certainly the lights and now you're being inundated with all these flipping people telling you that they're his best friend and they want to help out i feel like it's so gross it's so um it's so lacking in tact in class but if anything i'm not surprised these are what these people are like in the industry they are fucking horrible 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 human beings outside of what they do right they create great works they obviously influence culture to a certain extent but in terms of human beings the worst and imagine in her you know in the most painful moment that's what you're asking about anyway it continues it's a shoe he designed for the ground up um this is the uh, last may she created virgin securities to unite his creative ventures including alaska alaska which is a creative studio in london and a joint venture with a nike called architecture she is chief executive this week we shall introduce a four-day festival by virtual Vir securities and nike during miami art next week designed to celebrate mr Abel's life and open source his ideas she hopes it will become an annual event which is definitely cool so hopefully that becomes successful obviously these events if the first one doesn't go well you're not going to get a second one but hopefully we'll see that going forward centered at the rubel museum it will include discussions workshops and exhibitions at the nike terra firma and the first sneaker miss abla created from scratch for nike and it's a big release there'll also be a musical festival with performances chosen by miss abla and a skateboarding 
competition and um i love this as well i mean the cartier was a childhood alphabet bracelet that reads i love you their son gray six made it for her in september on what would have been miss abla's 42nd birthday because she said he knew i was sad i'm going to cry and miss abla said clasping her hands her friend marcy haley whom she has known since their early 20s who had come along to keep her company jumped up and handed her a tissue miss abla got two tattoos after abla's death one on the inside of her wrist Scott Campbell, the celebrity tattooist, had attended the memorial and had offered to do whatever she wanted. Scott Campbell is an absolute G, by the way. Check out his interview on How Long Gone. He's absolute top boy. Mr. Ablo had gone through a major tattoo period, so Miss Ablo thought she made, it made sense. On their wedding anniversary in 2021, Miss Ablo had written her love letter. So on her love letter, on, so on her left wrist is a quote that says, "Like a ton of bricks," inked in handwriting. He always had, I love you like a ton of bricks. He always said, sorry to her, I love you like a ton of bricks. And on the right, it says, a love letter. It wasn't like we knew it was going to pass at Miss Abloh. Abloh learned of his cardiac um, angry sarcoma, a rare heart cancer in January 2019. But they had decided to keep his own a secret for all his closest friends. He didn't want people to look at him and think, are you okay? A beautiful picture here with Virgil and two of their kids in Paris. Even though we knew the challenge of what we were fighting, it went a lot faster than we thought it was going to. So we never had this legacy that I want you to work towards discussion. But I, because I was with him for so long, I knew every inch of his of him. I knew every inch of his brain. The two men at high school circle game when she was 17. They both were living in Rockford, um, Illinois. I'm going to different schools. She was dating someone else. But the next week, Virgil Abloh put a dozen roses on her car. She drove a black Nissan Pathfinder with a, left, with a letter explaining why she should dump the boyfriend and start dating him. After that, even when he went to the University of Wisconsin in Madison to study civil engineering, because of his father wanted him to, she was finishing her senior year. They stayed together. They were together through her time studying marketing in Edgewood College in Madison and his time studying architecture at the Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago. And through her first years in the city, she lived with two girlfriends in a walk up then. And he, instead of being an architect, started working with Kanye West. They were together, she said, um, from when he drove a green Honda and wore Jenko jeans and raffer and polo shirt and thought square boxes were so cool for houses at the time. Abloh liked ornate French decor. When Miss Abloh was flying around the world with Mr. West, she was working. Um, at yahoo and would join him when she could he proposed by telling her he'd go to australia and ask her to drop him off at the airport when she got out of the passenger side of oha to swap seats drive back home he was on his knee on the ground at first she said she thought he had fallen on the car she stopped working after the birth of their first daughter but virgil Lablo, virgil and i talked about everything he would show me sketches for his next collection play his dj sets uh, michael burke the chief executive of louis vuitton who was one of the few people who knew miss abloh's diagnosis remembered um seeing miss abloh backstage her husband's louis vuitton show standing in the shadows as guests fought to air kiss virgil and take selfies with him so clearly a woman that knew you know the position and, and the place that she played in a relationship and you know did it very 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 well for the most part and now she's been put in a position where she's basically having to manage this entire state and kind of make it work and do right by his legacy but also do right by her family it must be a lot to juggle in real time and i really don't envy it in the slightest and it must be such a hard way to do it also without him kind of next to her side so thoughts and feelings go out to her man prayers and strength as always to shannon Ablo. it continues she'd be watching very proud as also a little incredulous friends would wonder how Miss Abloh managed to be in so to not be insecure about her husband endlessly photographed with Bella Hadid. She just wasn't, said Miss Haley. This New York Times story is a bit gross, man, to be honest. Including that bit about the friends, what they said at the memorial, and then asking the friends to comment on this story or this rumor that or maybe Virgil Abloh was dating Bella Hadid in the background. It's like, nah, I don't get that vibe from him. I got the vibe that he was just a consummate professional. And legitimately saw those girls, Gigi and Bella Hadid, as the muses as they are now, often regarded to, right? As much as people kind of lament them and the family, they are essentially our modern day muses. And he basically just saw them for what they are and wanted to celebrate them and have them near as possible because he kind of used them as sort of inspiration sources. They probably saw him as a, you know, one of the rare safe people that they can maybe hang around. You see the video that Vogue put together in the wake of Virgil Abloh passing where they did his interviews with all these people in fashion and Gigi Hadid was legitimately sobbing now she could be just be a, a normal person I guess she could be a person who maybe gets emotional all the time and cries as a kind of you know reflex but the way that she was crying made me believe that that guy was a legit great guy like actual great guy like she was sobbing for real and that for me proves that he was not 
touching them and you know being flipping inappropriate or having flipping side relationships it was legitimately a professional relationship and they respected him a lot looked up to him a lot and that is what it was but to ask this lady this kind of question or anyone associated with her in the wake of this guy's death to just kind of profile it just feels a bit gross a bit disgusting maybe it just mean i'm being a bit whatever but i don't like it i love this bit also that i didn't know this was pretty good um in july 2021 mr abler sold off white to lvmh which now will make sense mostly to ensure his future and to take out in a large role of the organization but also it's because it meant miss abler the children would be taken care of which is awesome because if he would have survived his illness he would have then had a larger role in lvmh which then could have spawned other things going forward but if unfortunately he did pass which he did he would have the opportunity to basically look after his children for ever and ever and ever basically during the pandemic lockdowns the family mostly stayed out there west uh, west weekend house in lake geneva wisconsin i know that covid was an incredibly hard time for many people miss abler said but for us it was an amazing time because virgil didn't have to make excuses to get out of shows or djing no one could go anywhere so we were able to have those last two and a half years together that's why i'm gonna end it there i feel like that's the most like bittersweet part of it overall the fact that COVID essentially allowed the family to kind of be together during the last parts of Virgil's life because he didn't have to jet around the world anymore. He didn't have to make excuses to leave, which I am definitely someone that can attest to those because when I was working with him, you know, from afar and doing that online streetwear program thing, one thing that I remember being a real issue, a real point of contention that the founders were really getting annoyed with and the people that were running the company was the fact that we couldn't pin Virgil down in terms of doing content because he was always flying, you know, back and forth from studios and whatnot and, you you know meetings and he'd often fly back to visit his family in chicago like he legitimately didn't even try to move them over to europe next to his studio or go well, at the time he was doing off-white to move them close to his studio in milan no he was jetting back and forth back and forth back and forth crazy work ethic and tipping stamina that he had during those times that was always to go visit his family so any excuse he had any time he had to go back and visit his family he'd go and visit them so all this stuff that i'm reading now about him makes complete sense and um it's just bittersweet you know what i mean like covid happens they get time to look after to, to be together as a family for a two and a half period but you also know it maybe is the last two and a half years that you're gonna have with this person um but yeah r.i.p to the legend um you know forcing feelings go out to shannon abelow and the family hope they stay strong and they have the right ones around them for sure and yeah i love the profile the picture is fucking amazing she looks beautiful here really well done the 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 often rumored um off-white jordan fours that people are saying were fake are, are definitely not fake because we've seen pictures of them in the museum and obviously they're done on their feet there will they eventually come out we're not really too sure but regardless i love the profile i love the picture it looks amazing um hopefully this festival goes really well in art basel and we get to see it every year so that we can remember the great man's legacy forever and ever